everyone and welcome to our class exp 9 entrepreneurship we are in our second sem uh, my apologies if medyo na late tayo sa start and discussion but uh, I'll, I'll try to make it concise for my video lectures and the other activities um nakapag adjust na naman ako from uh, our uh, last semester's classes so i think i've somehow uh well I've, I've also learned a lot of strategies in the new normal in our education which uh, i hope by now um i can apply it para lahat tayo pare pareho tayong um makapag adjust uh, matuto sa sa mga classes natin and um uh hindi tayo ganun mahihirapan sa mga uh, different activities natin in our class. Anyway, so for this module, we're gonna focus on module 1, Introduction to Entrepreneurship and Social Entrepreneurship. Mag-focus muna tayo sa entrepreneurship, uh, a, a brief um, discussion, definition of, definition of terms, importance, um, the entrepreneur itself, and so on. So, learning objectives for this module to introduce principles and concepts in entrepreneurship, then to introduce the traits an entrepreneur should have, to discuss the impact of entrepreneurship to the economy, and to introduce social entrepreneurship and differentiate it with entrepreneurship. So, these are our learning objectives for module one. And uh, I, I guess, and I remembered when I was teaching in senior high school, there's entrepreneurship uh, subject. So, ito ay uh, review na lang din. And um, uh, there might be some information that were not discussed when you were in senior high school, which you may hear or learn from uh, this discussion. So, we have here Corazon Dairo Ong. Her famous product is this one, ham, na lagi nating natitikman kada Christmas or New Year. And um, her business is CDO. Siyempre, alam na alam natin yan. We always have... Uh, different products from CDO in our houses, in our homes. When uh, you accompany your parents to do the groceries, siguro napapansin nyo, lagi silang kumukuha ng products ng, ng CDO. Ano uh, may mga products nila, they have ham, um, tocino, uh, canned goods, and actually, sobrang dami. So, it all started, actually, yung, yung CDO. So, I included it here, uh, a short detail of uh, Corazon Dairo Ong. So, she is a nutritionist dietitian. In 1975, she started a small home business making her own meat products. So, since um, she is really a nutritionist, she is a dietitian, so may my knowledge uh, with regards to food processing, um, producing nutritious foods. So, with, with that knowledge, and also that's her passion, she decided that why not um, put this, this knowledge and desire into something profitable. Kaya gumawa siya ng sarili niyang uh, mga uh, processed meat products sa uh, bahay lang niya. So, with a small loan from the bank, she and her husband turned their home into a small factory. Until 1981, they changed the business name to Food Sphere Inc. with CDO as the flag flagship brand. Um, when they were starting, uh, one of their products that was a hit in their neighborhood was 
the shopaw pero ang palaman ng shopaw ay uh, I remember sa sa news about her uh, longganisa ang ang palaman and marami sa neighborhood nila ang uh, nagustuhan yung ganung concept so right uh, hindi lang siya uh, nakaisip na ah, mag magnegosyo ako about uh, food processed food nag innovate siya nag uh, naging creative siya from what is usual then uh, from there yun nga naging sikat ang daming nag uh, ang daming nag enjoy dun sa product niya until lumago at nung lumago they um, decided na uh, magtayo na tayo ng ng factory so it was a big race it was a big step pero uh Corazon Dairaong so an opportunity a big opportunity in the uh, processed food industry kaya uh, kahit uh, mangutang sa bangko it's it's fine kasi uh, alam niya na may malaking opportunity sa uh, business niya there were there was also a time when um okay na yung yung CDO so nag nagpo-produce na sila may factory na sila however there was a time when uh, nasunog yung factory nila yung small factory sa sa bahay nila so that time um in in the interview i've read about uh, Corazon Dairaong so that time daw um nagdadalawang isip na rin sila kung uh, ano ba uh, mag-file na ba tayo for bankruptcy, ihinto na natin yung business, or let's take a risk. Magpatuloy pa rin tayo kasi maraming, well, may anak siya that time, and uh, may mga tauhan siya, and she thought of um, what will happen with these employees if we stop the business. Kaya doon, nagkaroon ulit siya ng another uh, risk-taking uh, decision of still uh, pursuing the business. So, kahit na uh, nasunugan sila, nag, nagpatayo ulit sila ng uh, isang planta sa may Valenzuela. It was during uh, 90s and actually during that time, so bukod sa nasunugan, nasunog yung planta nila, um, may financial crisis non. So, may, may uh, problem with the economy. There's a struggle with the economy. Kaya, um, mahirap man. There are things that uh, Corazon Dairon definitely cannot control, like the financial crisis and events like this, the, the uh, fire or natural calamities also, but she still took the risk. So, nevertheless, they saw this as an opportunity to provide more jobs, um, to produce more products, to have, uh, to be creative with uh, the food products that they that they are trying to sell. And definitely, sa pag-expand to, hindi ulit, um, it, it's not from their pockets, it's not from their capital, uh, from the previous um, business operations. So, nangutang ulit sila. Okay? So, another big step. Ganito talaga ang pagninegosyo eh. So, dito na makikita pa lang natin um, yung, yung mga challenges ng isang entrepreneur. So, until uh, lumago naman, lumago, nakapagpatayo pa ulit sila ng uh, isa pang planta, and until uh, marami na silang naipoproduce. Mas marami na yung uh, nare-reach out nila na nare-regions or places. And right now, uh, sa uh, pandemic, nagkaroon din sila ng uh, online store. So, they are uh, partnering with, uh, I think, Lazada and also Shopee. Na- nakita ko yung yung uh, page nila sa Lazada and Shopee. So, they partnered with these two online platforms para mas uh, madali yung pag-reach out sa mga consumers. Nagkaroon din sila ng uh, 
mobile food stores. So, may mga uh, rumoron ba sila na parang mga, mga trucks, mga grocery stores, pero nandun sa, sa vehicle na yon And they are selling their uh, products. So, that's the story of uh, Corazon Dairoong. So, somehow, sa kahit short yung na-discuss kong uh, history, kung paano nag-start yung CDO and their challenges, we can see how um, how a business is very challenging, is difficult to put up with. Pero, kung may drive ka, if you are willing to take that risk, kahit na nakakatakot, kahit na hindi ka sigurado sa kung ano man mangyari, di ba? Parang si uh, Ma'am Cora, ang, ang tawag daw sa kanya na mga empleyado niya, uh, parang si Ma'am Cora na nasunugan na, hindi niya alam kung paano uh, magsismula ulit eh. And marami ding nakaasa sa kanya, pero parang ang hirap, hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari. And that time, nung nasunugan sila, hindi pa naman ganun uh, kalaki. And take note, nandiyan na si San Miguel, si um, uh, yung nag-produce ng Century Tuna. So, ang dami ng mga, mga, ng, ng mga uh, big companies in the food industry. But still, again, kahit na nakakatakot, mag-take ng risk, she still took that risk. And until now, so, di ba, kahit uh, pandemic, um, I think, mas lalo siguro silang lumago din. And mas lalo silang, uh, mas, mas marami silang natulungan ng mga Pilipino. So, yung, yung mga nagtatrabaho sa kanila, hindi na wala ng trabaho. The business operations is still uh, continuous. And at the same time, um, since they are in the food industry, so they are producing uh, food products for the many Filipinos na kahit na may pandemic, so they can purchase some of their products online, they are doing other initiatives. So, this is the life of an entrepreneur. It's very difficult, it's very challenging, but if you have that heart, if you have that passion, if you love what you're doing, you can succeed. Okay, so now from the uh, um, story of Mam Cora from CDO, I think somehow we understand the challenges, the, the definition, the essence of entrepreneurship. And uh, for Howard H. Stevenson, a professor emeritus at Harvard Business School, so he defined entrepreneurship as the pursuit of opportunity beyond resources controlled. I like his definition and uh, I agree to it. Kasi pag hinimay natin yung definition niyang to, there's actually a deeper me meaning behind uh, entrepreneurship. Mas maiintindihan natin yung kabuuan ng uh, pagiging isang entrepreneur with his definition. So, isa-isahin natin. Uh, entrepreneurship is the pursuit. Okay. Una-muna sa pursuit. Um, have you watched the video or the, the movie, I mean, A Pursuit of Happiness? Right? So, um, actually, what, what I have learned from that movie is pursuit of happiness or if you really want to, to be happy, it's actually um, a never-ending search for happiness. Walang uh, isang bagay or isang tao or isang sitwasyon na masasabi mong pag nangyari na sa'yo yun, pag nakuha mo na siya or yon kung ano man yun, um, ay masaya ka na, ay contento ka na. Pursuit is a never-ending searching, looking for something. So, yun nga, parang pursuit of happiness. Pursuit is of happiness is a never-ending searching for what makes you happy. 
And in entrepreneurship, pursuit is a never-ending search for or of opportunity. So, opportunity here means not just um, ano kaya ang uh, product or services na ma i offer mo. Opportunity here means um, who, who are the market that you can help to or with. Ano ba yung mga needs ng market na to? Ano yung mga wants nila? How can I make these needs and wants uh, transform it into an opportunity for my enterprise? Or opportunity like um, looking for business partners, expanding. Opportunities can also be um, uh, innovating technologies so that uh, the business, uh, the business's performance will be much better, will improve. So that is opportunity. So pursuit of opportunity. And if we have observed, um, never ending then yung paghahanap ng opportunity. Kaya nga it's a pursuit of opportunity. Never ending yung um, pag pag innovate ng isang technology, paggawa ng panibagong uh, product or services. For instance, dati kung ang cellphone ay napakalaki, napakabigat, it's it's so inconvenient for short to have a cell phone. But now, it's so lightweight. It's so lightweight that you can just put it inside your pocket. Yung uh, iba, yung phone nila, pwede nasa wrist mo na. Yung mga smart watches. What else? Um, in the past, phones are just for calls. Walang ang text eh. Right? Kailangan mo pa ng antena. Kailangan mo, mo pang maghanap ng uh, magandang reception. But now, phones are not just for calls, for texts, but for documentation. It's like a, a, a mini computer already where you can um, write some of your notes, you can type um, a document, and so on. So, there's a lot of uh, innovation happening in our uh, current situation because, again, entrepreneurs always seek new opportunities. Okay? They always find um, ano kaya ang pwede nating uh, i-offer sa market because this can help them in their daily lives. This can help them with their needs, with their wants. So, that is pursuit of opportunity. Next is beyond resources controlled. So, beyond resources controlled here means um, even though the resources an enterprise has, kahit na uh, ito lang ang resources na meron siya, since he, he or she is always striving to, to seek new opportunities. So, itong limited resources na to, kayang-kaya niya na um, going something, going something um, valuable sa uh, consumers. I remember I attended this uh, webinar about business idea development and we have an activity where we we are just given a simple simple daily uh, item that we have at home. And ang activity namin ay uh, um, paano namin i-market uh, let's say, um, itong notebook na to, itong simpleng notebook na to, paano namin i-market to in, in a, a way that we can show the customers that this is unique. This is a notebook. This is not just a simple notebook. This is uh, an innovative, advanced notebook. Okay, something like that. So, kahit na ganito lang yung resources namin, ano kaya ang, 
ang pwede namin gawin sa notebook na to so that it would be competitive in the market. Ano kaya ang pwede nating gawin para ito, pag nakita ni ni consumers or, or ni customers, it's not just an ordinary notebook. This is something that they would want, that they would need. So, that is beyond resources controlled. Na kahit na ganito lang yung resources ng uh, entrepreneurs or ng business owners, they see an opportunity. They see something in that resources wherein they can cater the needs and wants of their uh, customers or their consumers. So, that's the, uh, I think, the shortest but um, uh, it comprises the overall essence of entrepreneurship. So, for you to learn more about the, the theories of entrepreneurship, May you please scan this QR code? You'll be redirected to YouTube. I uh, have found this um, uh, lecture video from this channel, so Applied Science, Allied Physical and Chemical Science. So they are discussing the different theories of entrepreneurship. Now that we have defined entrepreneurship and we also gave an example, a real life example, which is of uh, the the story of CDO of of Mam Cora. Now let's focus on Mam Cora or her characteristics, her traits as an entrepreneur. And these traits um, does not just describe Mam Cora, but almost all entrepreneurs. So I have gathered um, these traits from different. Uh, articles and stories that I have read about entrepreneurs. So, let's take a look. What are the traits of an entrepreneur? Kung gusto nyo maging uh, entrepreneur in the future, gusto nyo magtayo ng sarili nyong business, let's make sure that you have these traits. Kasi itong mga traits na to, actually, it's quite consistent with uh, all of those uh, CEOs, business owners, entrepreneurs na talaga nag-succeed. So, try to practice, try to incorporate these characteristics. So, first is vision. So, entrepreneurs have visions or they are visionary. Okay? So, they have a clear vision of what they want to achieve and how to accomplish it. They are future-oriented. Entrepreneurs always have goals. Um, parang, parang sa pag-aaral lang natin or sa buhay natin in general. If we don't have a goal in life or let's say... Um, where do you see yourself 5 to 10 years from now, right? We always uh, hear that from job uh, interviews. But uh, it's, it's an important question actually. What is your goal? What is your vision? Paano mo nakikita yung sarili mo 5 to 10 years from now? Or if you're interested with... Um, uh, let's say, planting, paano mo matatransform ma yung, yung healing mo sa pag, uh, pagtatanim into something profitable? Paano mo nakikita yung sarili mo na dahil sa pagtatanim, eh, aasenso ka 5 to 10 years from now. Ito ka na. Kahit, kahit wala pa yung uh, actual scenario na yon because you have already a clear vision of what you want to achieve. So, entrepreneurs should be visionary or are visionary. They should have a vision, a clear picture or goal or um, uh, an objective of where do they want uh, their business to be years from now. Okay, so they are always future-oriented. They always focus, well, they focus on the present and also what lies ahead. Next is, entrepreneurs are risk 
caretaker. So sabi nga ni Zuckerberg, in a world that's changing so quickly, the biggest risk you can take is not taking any risk. Right? So, sa panahon ngayon na grabe ang bilis ng pagbabago ng mga bagay-bagay. Um, parang ngayon lang sa pandemic, Uh, parang last year lang pumupunta tayo sa school. Last year lang, um, we have our textbooks. Though, meron namang e-books, but uh, we are used to bringing um, hard-bound books. But, due to the pandemic, ito kasi mga situation, situation na hindi talaga natin makakontrol. So, due to the pandemic, there's a sudden change in the way we we learn the way we do our businesses so many businesses nowadays are going online for instance so if we don't take that risk uh for inst for example going online dahil lang uh, eh kasi marami nang ano eh marami nang nago online selling or eh kasi hindi ko alam yan eh uh, hindi ko na lang i um hindi ko hindi lang ako gagawa ng Facebook page or ng uh, Google Ads or something like that. Kasi hindi ko talaga alam yan eh. And I'll just stick to the usual um, business operations sa may physical store. Eh, yun nga eh. Nasa pandemic tayo and the, the government themselves, the situation, the virus is preventing people to go outside, to go to the, to go to Uh, malls, stores. So, if if you don't take that risk of going online, eh talagang malulugi yung business mo. And in the end, syempre, magsasarado na, mapipilitan kang magsarado kahit na um, ang, ang negosyo mo ay something that could help a lot of people. Kahit na uh, in demand yan. Pero if you don't take the risk, if you don't make changes para Um, matulungan mo not only your business but also a lot of uh, customers or your market it uh, wala, wala mangyayari you're just gonna fail so again, sabi nga ni Zuckerberg uh, ang, ang biggest risk is not taking any risk okay I remember um, Kodak Siguro na naabutan pa ng iba <laughs> yung Kodak na, na film. So, yung yung cameras noon, 'di ba, may mga film and for you to um to to see the actual picture, eh kailangan mo pang pumunta sa mga um uh, what what do we call those stores? Uh, uh camera photo shop uh, stores, something like that. I I can't remember. So, kailangan mo pang pumunta doon sa mga stores na yun just to print out the, the film and have a copy. So, uh, during that time, nung mga panahong ganun pa ang uh, pagsiselfie, so hindi pa rin uso ang word na selfie nun, um, Kodak is the leading, uh, leading camera producer or maker in the market. So, talagang malago sila that time. Sila ang number one in terms of cameras, uh, photography. However, nung, um, nung nagkaroon na ng uh, innovation, actually, yung first digital camera is from Kodak. Kaso, yung, yung um, nag-invent, nung first digital camera, medyo bulky pa, medyo malaki yung first digital camera, they have disregarded that idea. They still stick to uh, film cameras. Now, there came a time when um, digital cameras are already flourishing. Many people um, really patronize bought the digital cameras kasi nga mas mas convenient siya eh, na pwede mong isave dun sa mismong device yung mga pictures and at the same time, you can still uh, see it, see the actual picture without going to these um, photo, stu photo studio. Yeah, I remember the, the name of that shop. So, photo stu studio just to print out the picture. So, um, since Kodak disregarded 
the digitalization, they did not um, took the risk of uh, innovating their their products, which is the cameras. So, um, hanggang sa nag, nag innovate ang uh, technologies na karon natin ng smartphones in actually medyo disregarded na rin yung digital cameras if you can still remember yung mga uh, cameras na may LCD no so halos na face out na yon and uh, yun nga uh, going back since um with the invention of of smartphones uh, digital cameras were uh, rejected na with mo by uh, most people. Hindi na nila gusto yun kasi yung mga smartphones andun na lahat. May, may camera na siya, pwede ka mag games, pwede ka mag store ng uh, kung ano-anong um, files and so on. So, uh, until uh, I think that was 2012 when they filed uh, for bankruptcy. Talagang hindi na kaya ni, ni Kodak. Uh, nakakapanghinayang kasi the idea of digital cameras actually came from an employee doon mismo sa uh, Kodak. So, sayang kasi hindi nila tinake yung, yung risk. And sometimes, taking that risk, there's an opportunity there. Okay, next is creative. So, entrepreneurs are creative. They think outside the box and look for opportunities to produce new solutions. They are also resourceful in solving problems and challenges. So, they are creative enough na um, kaya nil, kayang gumawa ng entrepreneurs na, you know, something simple, something usual, something that we use every day pero kaya niyang going um, something na profitable something na um in innovate niya okay in improve niya yung usual product or a simple product into something new so going back to our example um the, the previous example, yung cell phones. So, syempre, next start tayo sa telephones. So, from telephones, it was innovated. A simple uh, telephone was innovated into cell phone. Medyo bulky pa, medyo malaki, uh, inconvenient. Kailangan mo pa ng, kailangan pang um, uh, maghanap ng magandang reception. Then, uh, in innovate yung yung bulky na na phones into smartphones then nagkaroon ng maliit na smartphones hanggang sa medyo lumalaki na yung mga smartphones nagkaroon ng mga cameras na uh, de flip or something uh, I, I can't uh, quite describe how they innovated it may uh, um Phones nowadays na ang um, uh, lock niya ay instead of passwords ay um, face recognition or fingerprint. So, that is or that shows the creativeness of entrepreneurs. Um, what else in terms of food naman? So, that is simpleng coffee. Simpleng coffee lang. Nagkaroon tayo ng frappuccino. Um, nagkaroon tayo ng uh, Americano, ng latte, ng uh, macchiato, ano pa ba mga flavors. So, different flavors. Um, there's this uh, um, business owner I've met just recently. So, dun daw sa coffee shop nila, ang ginagawa ay uh, piniprint nila yung picture mo doon sa coffee, doon sa coffee mismo. And it's uh, potable, it's edible, yung picture na yon. So, something like that. You, you, you should be creative as an entrepreneur. Kasi, uh, as mentioned nga, no, doon sa risk takers, sabi ni Zuckerberg, in a world that's changing so quickly, Kapag ikaw hindi ka creative enough na hindi ka nakasabay dun sa trend, dun sa kung ano yung uso, or kung, kung hindi ikaw yung uh, nauna, 
doon sa kung ano man ang uh, uh, bago sa paningin ng masa, eh, talagang mahuli ka. So, kailangan maging creative ka na you, you always think of uh, ideas how you can uh, innovate this or expand your products. In short, uh, pursuit of uh, opportunities. Okay, and that is true. Uh, being creative also. Next trait of entrepreneurs is uh, they should be passionate. So if you are passionate in what you do, you are committed and motivated to succeed. Uh, for instance, yung situation nyo ngayon sa uh, pag-aaral, right? Um, even though there's a pandemic, the situation is really difficult. Actually, even before the pandemic, um, nandiyan yung financial problems, yung uh, overloaded works, homeworks, right? Even at home. So, ang daming pinapagawa nila, nanay. Pero dahil passionate ka, gusto mo yung, gusto mo maging teacher one day. You're, you're looking at your goal. You you are focused on your vision, okay? The the your goals five to ten years from now, you can clearly see that you will become a teacher one day. So because of your goals, you are passionate, you are motivated, and committed. Na kahit na mahirap ang uh, situation, you still pursue it. So same thing with entrepreneurs, since. Um, they are building also their empires here. Eh. They are committed. They should be committed to their enterprise, to their business. And if you love what you are doing, let's say um, uh, most of the entrepreneurs, they put up their, their businesses or their, uh, their, their um, offered goods and services are usually what they are interested in. So, if interesado sila sa, let's say, pagtatanim, mga plantito, plantita, or they are interested in cooking, in baking, or um, they are knowledgeable in um, uh, yung mga technology, yung mga websites, um, in IT, uh, programming, um, creation of, of websites. If they are knowledgeable with that and um, they enjoy doing that, usually yun na rin yung ginagawa nilang business. And since it's what they love and they are um, getting profit from that business, so motivated sila na palaguin yung negosyo nila or yung business. That's why, as mentioned, no, if you are passionate, with what you do, you are committed and motivated. Whatever comes your way, um, may mga external factors man na hindi natin makontrol like uh, the pandemic or pag nagkabagyo or uh, may mga ganitong um, rules and regulations that uh, prevents us from doing this certain activity in our business so that we can expand. So, kahit na may mga ganong situation, you are um, uh, creative enough to find ways. Okay, you are taking risk because, again, you are co passionate, committed, and motivated. And, uh, on top of that, uh, I forgot, you are optimistic. Okay, you are optimistic na kahit na things might be uh, uh, uncertain, um, kahit na mag-take ka ng risk, pero hindi ka ganun kasigurado kung anong posibleng mangyari in the next months or years. But you are optimistic na um, you can make ways. You are eager to make ways. Okay, so that's passionate. Next, Entrepreneurs are decisive. They practice sound judgment and decision making even under pressure. So, ito yung uh, problema ng karamihan. Actually, even millennials. When we are uh, excited 
about something, parang gustong-gusto natin gawin, right? Or if we feel sad, uh, nagbabago, syempre, nagbabago yung mood natin and naapektuhan yung decision natin. So, with entrepreneurs, hindi pwedeng na uh, nadadala ka ng emotion mo or um, you compromise your decisions. Dapat yung decision yung decision ng isang entrepreneur sa enterprise niya ay talagang pinag-isipan. Um, sound yung sound judgment. Kasi pag mali yung decision niya, definitely maapektuhan yung business. So, pwede magkaroon ng loss or uh, unfortunately, pwedeng magsarado yung business. That's why <coughs> excuse me, entrepreneur should be Um, should practice and should uh, be um, quick in decision making whenever there are uh, situations, unexpected situations arises. So, kunyari, along the way, ito yung plano ng, um, ng business na mag-produce ng um, 100 items per month. Pero along the way, hindi na na-predict or hindi na um, napagplanuhan, biglang nasira yung makina. So, anong kailangan gawin ni, ni entrepreneur? Kailangan ba niyang uh, ipagawa kagad? Kaso, walang pera, walang budget for the maintenance, for the um, repair of the, that machine. Or, um, another issue that uh, usually businesses encounters Um, pag uh, uh, nakikita nila na posibleng mag-bankrupt na yung business dahil maliit yung yung income or yung uh, yung yung sales nila hindi ganoon kalakas. So, ano yung dapat na gawin ni entrepreneur para hindi tuloy ang magsarado yung yung negosyo? Dapat bang maghanap siya ng investors? or gawin niya, or magpa-franchise siya ng business, or um, mag-offer siya ng iba pang services. So, something like that. They should be decisive enough, and their decision should be um, uh, aligned with the goals, and it's carefully analyzed. Next, flexible. So, you must be versatile. You can adapt adapt to changes and solve problems once arise. So, it's quite related to being decisive, um, uh, being also passionate, just takers, and being creative. Because uh, we, we can, entrepreneurs can never assure that what they have planned or what they have decided is um, that is what will happen in the next months or years to come. Parang yung pandemic ngayon, uh, let's say, ako ay isang uh, negosyante, may sarili akong um, uh, coffee shop. I offer frappuccino, brewed coffee, uh, ice and hot coffees, may, may, meron din ako mga baked goods, and um, instant coffees. Okay, so, uh, 20, sabihin nating 2017 ako nag-start until um, January of 2020, okay yung business. Hindi, hindi pa ako nagkakaroon ng uh, other branch. Isa lang yung branch ko dito sa Laguna. Pero, uh, so far, okay naman ang business operation. So, sabihin, nat sabihin natin yun ang ating uh, case study, no? ang ating example for this um, uh, trait of an entrepreneur. Now, since um, the, the, the pandemic, the quarantine season started March uh, 2020, so all of the businesses should shut down. Now, ano kaya ang pwede kong gawin? Kung ang uh, negosyo ko lang ay ang uh, source of income ko. Diba? Napakahirap mag-decide. So, yung mga uh, business owners, CEOs, managers, uh, they 
they became really flexible <laughs> this uh, pandemic kasi kundi magsasarado yung yung negosyo or tuluyan ng babaksak actually maraming marami na talagang bumaksak na na negosyo uh, this pandemic it's it's quite sad but um, i think if uh personally if managers ceos um entrepreneurs uh could strategize be flexible with their previous uh goals so sabi natin balik tayo dun sa example ko na ako ay may goal na uh, by 2021 kailangan may isa na akong um branch sa uh, Cavite let's say So dahil hindi ko ma mahihit yung goal na yun na magkaroon ng isang branch para mag-double pa yung yung income. So I should be flexible enough. Kung hindi talaga kaya, siguro pwedeng yung plan ko to open up uh, another branch in Cavite, maybe I can just um opt to have resellers instead. Kasi Uh, ang hirap eh na magkaroon ng, ng physical store. So, pwede magkaroon ako ng resellers or I can partner with Grab or uh, Food Panda. So, with that, I, my, my business can be flexible. Um, kahit na may pandemic, I can still offer my products kasi may mga partners ako. Okay? So, that's uh, being flexible. Next is collaboration. So, they should be a great leader and team player to keep the units and subordinates to work together for the enterprise's goal. So, inside the organization, dapat uh, ang entrepreneurs, they know how to lead their uh, subordinates or their employees. Dapat magtulungan para yung business operations ay uh, okay, yung, yung performance ay... Um, Uh, maganda and eventually will have um, a good profit. Isa pa sa uh, collaboration is not just collaboration within your organization but also outside the enterprise. So as mentioned previously, entrepreneurs can collaborate with different uh, businesses. Ngayon kasi ang, ang Um, competitors mo ay pwede mo na rin maging ka-partner sa negosyo. So, let's say, uh, y- yung example ko nga kanina, no, na, na coffee shop, um, I can partner with this store kung talagang hindi ko na uh, uh, kaya na this store in Laguna, yun lang talaga ang magiging um, shop ko. So, I can tap other businesses if they want to offer um, coffees in their shop. So, pwede kami mag-partner. Pwede ko rin itap si, si Grab, si Food Panda, makapag uh, yung, yung business ko, uh, ilagay sa uh, platform nila para yung mga laging nag-grab in Food Panda, they can see my my business. So, that's collaboration. Not just, again, not just collaboration, communication inside the organization, but also outside the organization. And, lastly, persuasive. Entrepreneurs should be persuasive. They should or can convince their customers on the value of their products or services. Entrepreneurs should know Um, the value of their product. Alam nila kung bakit itong uh, produkto nila or, or servisyon nila ay dapat bilhin or uh, i-avail ng mga customers. And, yung ganong importance, yung ganong value ng, ng products or services nila ay kailangan ma-translate nila to their customers. And if they can translate it to their customers na, uh, o oh, itong product namin, I, I think you need this because you have problems with your with your um, with your health or you're having difficulties with, with working, so buy this gadget and so on. So, pag na-convince natin sila na itong product or uh, service natin ay kailangan nila Definitely, 
uh, mas increase yung yung uh, profit natin. Kaya importante din yung sales eh. So sa mga uh, entrepreneurs and uh, uh, sales uh, officers, they should have a, a persuasive trait. Kailangan ma maboka sila or they can convince people to uh, buy their products. And um, con the, the, uh, being persuasive here is not just convincing your your customers to buy your uh, goods and services, but also in um, looking for partners, looking for investors. Siyempre, i-convince mo yung mga investors na mag uh, mag-invest sa business mo. Ikaw convince mo yung banko na uh, kailangan mong uh, kailangan mo ng ganito amount of money so that you can expand your business. Um, for the franchisee, kailangan mong i-convince yung mga future franchisee or those who are interested to franchise your business that if they invest in your business, they can grow their money up to this amount. So that is uh, the the persuasive uh, power of an entrepreneur. Dapat hindi lang sa customers, but in different stakeholders or different people that can affect, that can help the organization. Now, for you to have a different perspective about the characteristics of an entrepreneur. Uh, I suggest that you read this article and also try to read uh, other articles from different authors na uh, talagang exposed na sila sa uh, pagnenegosyo. Uh, to be honest, um, I think my experience with uh, business uh, planning, strategy, with well, with entrepreneurship in general, um, I'm still not that confident. Though I, yes, I have some experiences in uh, putting up business businesses, but um, uh, compared with the uh, experience of others, definitely mas uh, marami tayong matututunan sa kanila. And I myself still, um, I always attend webinars about uh, putting up your own business, strategizing, because I also want to um, to improve myself as an entrepreneur, not just as, as an educator, diba. So, uh, as mentioned nga, in um, our course, in our major, focus talaga tayo sa um, using these different skills to uh, put up our own business. So, not just uh, using these skills and knowledge to teach other students, but to also teach them how to uh, use this in business purposes and us ourselves to put our, to put up our own um, enterprise. So I suggest read this and also read other um, articles about an entrepreneur. So we're done with the part one lecture. Um, I'll be dividing the uh, lectures para hindi mahaba yung yung videos and also with the uh, uploading of the videos. So um, next topic would be entrepreneurial process, economic environment or business environment, and the importance of entrepreneurship. So I hope that you have really watch this lecture and the succeeding lectures and you learn more about uh, entrepreneurship. Para naman, di ba, uh, we can use the skills that you have learned in um, uh, industrial arts, in home economics, in cookery, in baking, and in uh, the different areas of TLE. Let's try to uh, use that to um, to have our own enterprise, to have our own business, and probably one day, uh, dun pala kayo lalago, no? And on the side, you can also teach uh, others about um, being an entrepreneur. So again, thank you, and uh, please watch our next video lecture.